Hi everybody, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a non-fiction by the name Why We Sleep by Matthew Walker. It was first published in 2017 and it has literally taken the social media up by a storm. I was seeing it all over the place, especially in 2020. So I finally decided to read it. One of the most fun things and probably one of the things that described me as sort of funny but at the same time trying to lighten up the mood and lighten up the entire information uh, mega information that is bulldozed in this book when you are a couple of pages in in this book the author has said if you feel like sleeping while reading this book please feel free to do that i wouldn't mind at all okay so these are five things that are mainly talked about in this book um you can obviously do more research and you can literally read the book for further information because there is so much information this is a non-fiction, so it's all about information, right? The first thing the author has talked about is the fact that sleep has so many benefits when it comes to happiness, when it comes to success, when it comes to health, and when it comes to safety. So these are four major things that sleep takes care of when you are obviously having a proper sleep. The one thing that hinders in the process of having a nice sleep is the modern environment that we have created. We always focus on eating a healthy diet and working out every single day to maintain our body and to maintain good health, you know? But the one thing that we neglect is sleep. Even though while reading articles related to weight loss or related to healthy lifestyle, you might have read about sleep, but we never really pay focus on it. We always scroll down it to look at things that will make us healthier. One more interesting fact is two thirds of people from developed countries fail to maintain a seven to eight hour ratio for sleep every single day, which leads to deadly driving. The author has even mentioned the fact that if you are driving and you are sleep deprived is more dangerous than driving while you are drunk or while you have some minimal amount of alcohol in your body. I'm not talking about complete drunks, you know, who, who don't even know what is happening in front of their eyes. And also sleep deprivation is a cause of so many major mental health conditions like anxiety, depression, and even Alzheimer's has a relationship with sleep deprivation. Number two, the author has given a detailed understanding of how sleep works and what kind of hormones are in work while we are sleeping and just the entire process of sleep. It's so interesting to read it's such a detailed explanation and he has also talked about how birds sleep how fish sleep and all that so it wasn't really like this book is filled with so many fun facts it's, it's really interesting in this chapter he has also talked about caffeine and how it remains in our body even after five to seven hours of having it so if you have had coffee after five to seven hours of consuming that caffeine, you still have almost 50% of caffeine left in your body. Number three is the author has talked about how sleep is super important for enhancement of memory. When we are sleeping, our brain is sort of sorting things into place that we have learned throughout the day. So when we wake up, our brain is sort of a blank slate for new memories to form. So if you are sleep deprived, if you are not sleeping properly, your memories that you have created throughout the day are not getting properly stored. So it is easier for you to forget things if you are sleep deprived. Number four, the author has talked about the quantity and quality of sleep, how to improve the quality of sleep. So he has given some basic pointers to improve our quality of sleep. He has talked about using black cow curtains. Number five is the explanation of morning person and evening person. It does exist, guys. You're just not the only one experiencing this weird flow of things where you are awake more at night as opposed to in the morning and you're feeling completely guilty of it all the time. So he says that there are three people, three types of people in this world. 40% of the people are morning people or morning persons and 30% of the people are evening persons and the rest of the 30 are a mix between morning and evening so morning person is someone who is wide awake who is ready to take on any kind of challenge in the morning and a night person or an evening person is someone who is more awake at night as opposed to in the morning they are at their full potential in the night hour and he says that these factors are dependent on our genetics which is so crazy. And one more interesting fact is how the artificial lights around us are having such a huge impact on our sleeping patterns. Whenever I would think about artificial light, I would always think about the artificial light in phones and laptops and tablets and all that. And I would never ever think about tube lights and, and bulbs and CFLs and all that, you know? 
we are always surrounded with these lights in natural conditions when the sun is setting melatonin gets released and it just you know sends signals to our brain that okay night has fallen it's time for bed but because of these artificial lights there is no contrast between morning and night so the entire sleeping process is messed up because our brains can't fathom what is going on when is night and when is day so it's just like has taken a completely different route but it has further been explained in a really interesting way later on in the book as well the shorter you sleep the shorter your lifespan so please take care of your sleep sleep at least seven to eight or eight to nine hours a day and obviously as this is a non-fiction everything that i have mentioned in this video is just the tip of the iceberg you have to read the book to understand and fully grasp what the author has imparted in this book with that note we have come to the end of this video if you like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please make sure to do that by clicking the red subscribe button down below and i will see you guys really soon inshallah till then take care god bless you assalamu alaikum bye